Hello, so today we're gonna make this backpack. Uh, so I've already cut all the parts. The main leather is gonna be this uh, light purple grainy calf and for lining I will be using pork leather which is quite thin and lightweight and as reinforcement I am using this scrap leather which is quite thick. I don't have many reinforcement in that bag. One is uh, that one for the bottom and another one is going to be uh, for the flap. I've already prepared all the strap and all the parts that needed to be bonded together like these shoulder straps and uh, as usual I am using uh, contact adhesive. I will probably not be filming all the creasing of the edges as usual if you watch my videos you will uh, know that I am using uh, the Rigad electric irons and I'm always using the two millimeter uh, crease iron. I will now be preparing the flap. That part is the lining of the flap and I'm using the final cut pattern to trace a line all around. This is where the outside part of the flap is gonna sit and we're gonna cut that line. And this is the pattern of the reinforcement which is about five millimeter smaller. So I'm also gonna trace the reinforcement is gonna sit there and there will also be a magnet sitting there with a stitching around. We're gonna sky the reinforcement about seven millimeter here and about 15 millimeter here down to zero. And we're also gonna sky the flap here and here. To about half the thickness. That leather is about two millimeter thick. And we're gonna skive uh, on 15 millimeter down to nothing. Let's now apply the adhesive on the magnet part. Gonna glue that one. And we're also gonna put some glue here to attach the reinforcement. I've skived this area a little bit down to half the thickness. So let's now take care of the reinforcement and I'm not gonna glue the bottom part. Okay, I will now assemble the uh, reinforcement with the lining of the flap. And for the magnet, I want a stitching around that part. So I am going to mark it with my bone folder like so and then using the pricking iron to mark the stitches and then we will stitch that part. So this is the bottom of the flap. Okay, let's now stitch the magnet. Okay, let's now assemble the lining. So we're gonna follow the line when we attach the front the flap, we follow the line we just traced before and we're gonna cut later the excess. I'm gonna use my iron and crease all around the flap. And we are ready to stitch. And then we're gonna punch using a pricking iron number eight. Okay, let's now stitch the flap and I'm starting with one stitch backward and I will also end the stitching with one stitch uh, past the thread through the edge when I finish the stitching. Okay, let's, go. let's now try to trim the excess.
Okay, let's now prepare the shoulder pads. As I said before, I have bonded together all the parts that were supposed to be bonded together. So here's one shoulder pad. And I use the pattern to make the four marks needed to place the part that will be like a loop for the shoulder strap to go through. I will just apply some um, contact adhesive uh, not too far away, just like about uh, two or three millimeters from the edge in between the two marks I have made with the template. And that one is going to be acting like a loop and it is like uh, three millimeter bigger. So we're going to apply like five millimeter glue on both edges. Like so. Just find marks. Right, we've got two shoulder pads because we've got two straps, obviously. And what we are going to be doing next is to trim I'm going to use my uh, round hole just to make one stitch there and there and there and then I'm going to use the putting iron Okay, let's now prepare the handle of the backpack. Um, that part is gonna be uh, the uh, central part of the handle, like uh, some kind of uh, reinforcement for it. And there are two layers bonded together. That part is going to be stuck on it. I have already used the pattern to make some marks. The middle mark for the reinforcement, the middle mark for that part as well. And there are also marks here and here, which is the place uh, where is sitting the middle reinforcement. So I'm going to use a uh, contact adhesive to bond all the parts together, and I'm going to fold this part back like so. First of all, don't forget to do edge finishing on the part that is going to hold the rings uh, because you're not going to be able to do it later and you would also need to put the ring on before you do the assembly okay let's assemble the handle so I put the D-rings on already and I want to fold this back onto the middle I really want the rings to be tight. I am using D rings, but you could also be using uh, square rings or maybe even oval rings. So. Right, I want the rings to be able to rotate a little bit. Okay, so let's see how to wrap the handles. I apply the adhesive on the top and on the edges. But now we want to fold. And normally we should be, when we finish the folding, we should be in the middle. Actually, the stitching should be in the middle. So now this has been applied there. I'm gonna fold. Fold this. Yeah. Using fold, it's better. Okay. And if we've done it well, the fold should be in the middle. And the trick to fold the rest uh, quite straight is to use uh, masking tape this is paper tape and, and this won't damage the leather so I'm gonna put it here and I will just fold it fold the leather following the masking tape so now we're gonna have to stitch to do the pricking in the middle, so it's 25, the middle is 12 and a half millimeters, right there, 12 and a half. 
So I'm not gonna be going through the leather completely, that's impossible anyway. I will do that with the hole while I'm stitching. So I'm gonna start with two stitches backward, both holes have to match on front and bottom obviously. Here is the final result of the handle. It will be sitting like that on the, the bag. Okay, let's now take care of the back flap. That part is going to be stitched at the back of this flap, uh, which is the one which has the uh, magnets. So both parts are going to be assembled together. I put a uh, contact adhesive already. That one has been skived all around and that part only on the bottom. So I'm trying to center all this and I will only be stitching these two edges for now. Once we've stitched both sides of the back flap, we're gonna trim the excess. Let's now mark a line 7mm from the edge of the flap where the flap is going to be attached but we just going to make sure that part sits flat. I'm going to skive the buckle strap on about 15mm uh, down to zero. <coughs> then going to put them in there and stitch them. I am now going to remove some of the teeth of this dipper. Now apply the zipper, you need to open from the left. So I will apply the um, zipper frame and I will do my best to center well the teeth. We'll 
first stitch the outside of the leather frame. I made here two marks using the patterns. We've got now our two interiors ready to stitch. We have now done the stitching on the pockets. We will now need to do the stitching here, but first I will need to care about that lining, which is going to be inside. I've applied about two centimeters of uh, adhesive on that edge and I'm gonna fold it like that and use the ruler to make sure I'm folding it straight.